They have two after the first day of competition. Here we go with heat one of the women's 500 meters semifinals. Watch for Elise Christie of Great Britain as she takes the lead. She has a great reaction to the gun, gets out in front, and everybody is talking about just getting out of trouble. Elise Christie had controversy in Sochi, but she was second in the 500 at the World Championships just in March, and so she just has to stay on her feet. She's looking very comfortable and very easy speed. Christie, a 25-year-old from Livingston, Scotland. She's the reigning European champion. And way out in front now with Sofia Prosvernova of Russia. One, two, the top two qualify to the final in the 500 meters. And it will be Christie and Prosvernova moving on. Nothing special about the race. It was written in stone from the get-go. Christie had that excellent start with that inside starting position. And Prosvernova just wanted to tuck in behind Christie. Again, a great reaction for Christy and Prosanova, who's just 17, and she is at the Olympic Hopes Boarding School in St. Petersburg, and she will be very happy being behind a veteran like Christy from Great Britain. An excellent, and I would say drama-free, semi-final for the women in this first 500 meter. Drama free is right. Christy gets the job done. We'll have the inside track as she goes to the final, and that's what she was after. And take a look at the final results in that first semi final. Elise Christie of Great Britain, Sofia Prosvernova of Russia uh, gets the second spot to the final here at Maurice Richard Arena. Let's go to the second semi final. The Canadians in this one inside. Marianne saint gelais 25 years old of saint felicien quebec uh, will be on the line for canada she won a silver medal at 1000 meters yesterday and they're away just like christy saint gelais in that inside lane with an excellent reaction to the gun but she has the two polish sisters right behind her but she can hear the crowd as well this is the position she wants to be in she looks comfortable a little higher than i like to see her skating which allows the straightaway she doesn't contain carry her speed quite as much as natalia Masaweka ends up passing and now sanjala needs to stay in that second position the two Polish sisters, Natalia Malajuska, Patricia Malajuska, and Sanjale digs in the tip of her skate and goes down, but got to the line first. Sanjale slowly getting off the ice. She was tangled in the mats, checking to make sure that her blade has not been injured. But saint very good off the line. Again, that inside position is where you want to be. She has the speed. As I mentioned earlier, you want to see her a little lower, but a little bumping with the Polish skater. And then it was that battle to the finish line. So again, top two from the semi-final. Pass through to the final. saint gelais would like to add another medal by advancing to this 500. She, again, she had the silver from yesterday. Nice inside turn to get to the line first over the 20-year-old. And a little shove from Natalia Malajuska after the fact. And saint gelais goes down but pops right back up. And to the delight of the crowd here at Maurice Richard Arena as she's moving on to the final, hoping to build on that silver medal performance yesterday in the 1,000 meters. So Sanjale and Malajuska of Poland go on to the A final here at 500 meters. And of course, Sanjale will be hoping to draw on home support here at Maurice Richard.